Welcome to the edition of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the Glen Malur Farm. <laughs> Alright, we got a couple things going on today. First of all, we got the rest of this bailing to do. As you can see, I did a little bit of bailing off camera, but not a whole lot. Got a couple uh, windrows left to do, and we also have... Oh, I have forgotten. Where is this guy? Here we go. I actually reset this guy, and that's why I couldn't just pop to him. And the reason why I reset it because the wheel was bothering me from last episode. So, uh, the other thing we got going on is the seeding of this field. And as you notice, the seeder is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of that situation right now. So we got this guy. Let's just leave that there. So we're going to go ahead and pick up a swap body for this guy here. Now I'm I'm a little reluctant to drive to the shop right now for whatever reason because uh, last time I drove there I got a little bit of. Uh, lag for whatever reason, so I'm just going to avoid the situation altogether and reset this. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm not going to pick it up. It's just because uh, it is a little uh, was choppy there last time, so I never figured out the reason why. I don't think my computer was doing anything special, so yeah, I don't know, that makes me sad. See, I can you can hook it up, but you'd have to hook it up to uh, not to the back here. It seems like you probably could. I don't know why. This always bothered me about this truck. Why the hitch didn't work properly. Maybe it's just the version I have. That's possible, I suppose. Um, I might have an older version, and that's the reason why. Anyways, let's go pick up the seed and fertilizer over here. Nice. That's the one thing I really do like about this truck. It's a really nice swap body. It, uh, it's not super fancy on the inside, but uh, it, hand it drives really nicely, so... I enjoy driving it, is what it boils down to. Excellent. So, uh, it is that side. There we go. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just take a little drive over here. We'll just, uh, not hit the wall, preferably. There we go. Jeez. Let's bring the animal information back up here. we got two pigs now. Good. Excellent. Alright, so let's drive this guy over here. So we need to drive all the way over to the other field here and make sure our cedar is filled with seed, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now before I forget about it again. Uh, which side is it? The seed is on this side. So I'm just going to leave it in the truck for the time being because I don't need this truck because uh, the fuel is already uh, set up basically. And let's just uh, lift the discs up here and go pick up some more seed. <sighs> $2,000. Oh, I was like, where did we lose $2,000 from? But I realized I just bought this, so that was the reason why, obviously. Alright, there we go. That's not too expensive. If I were playing in the more realistic mode, that would have been crazy expensive. Uh, but alas, I'm not, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so let's get this guy set up once again. So hopefully he will do his thing uh, without, uh, without messing up. We're going to find out quickly though. Let's just see. Whoops, 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 whoops. Got to back it up here a little bit. Always helps when you lower the discs. That always makes a big difference because then <laughs> Auto Tractor will know where it's supposed to be going. Uh, let's just see. He's on canola still. This is good. Should be all right. Yeah. So remember the wheel was locking up before, so I f I reset the tractor, so now it's fine. Again, I don't know why it does that, but every now and then that'll happen with depending on which uh, what happens with the tractor and whatnot. Really, you couldn't follow that edge. Come on. That makes me sad. I think maybe if it was in the other mode, which goes up and down the field, to be able to do it. Like, I don't understand. It's going to back up again. Makes no sense. Actually, maybe we'll do this. We'll do this. Uh, let's set up... Let's raise the discs here for a second. And we'll set them up on... Uh, active side left. Active side right. And we'll set him up so he goes up and down the field because this field probably is a bit better to do it that way. So I'm just going to line this up. 
There we go. And they should be okay. Collision check on. And he should be alright. And he should be able to go all the way up this, I think. Maybe not. We'll see. And how's he turning around? Yeah, let's see. Is he going to turn? No, he's going to go straight. Okay, that's fine. Well, this will work, I guess. The question is, is he going to be able to back up properly or not? That's crazy. The fact that they can back up is what really blows my mind away. Perfectly straight, too. No problems. But the gas truck's going to be in the way, I think. So Let's move this out of the way. Just back it up white here in the corner here. I do like this swap body. It has fertilizer and it's got seed on it, so... And it's only a thousand, like a couple thousand, I think, so. Yeah, that should be out of the way now. Excellent. Anyways, let's go hop in the Urus this year. Let's finish this bailing, which I have neglected for the last little while. There we go. Perfect. And that's too fast. Again. There we go. So let's finish off this bailing. We got one, two rain rows left, and then that's all we got. And then we're good to go, basically, so. That shouldn't be too bad. And then from there, we can. Uh, do what we need to do. So we got six bales out of this. Uh, and then another field we're planted, what? Barley. So it's a small field. We'll see what happens. Mmm, coffee. It's not cold coffee this episode. It's actually hot coffee. Made a fresh pot of coffee. Gotta love that. And the fresh pot of coffee is really good. I made it kind of strong, so I don't know. I usually I drink coffee black already, so when I make it strong black coffee, oops, Ian, that is for full. You probably shouldn't. Uh, probably, ugh. I have to watch out for that. There we go, perfect. Did I miss that little bit over there? Oh, it's not so bad. I turned the sound down so I can't hear what uh, what sound it's making, but. I noticed something kind of funny. I was just chilling out in this field, and uh, one of the funny things I noticed was the fact that um, it kind of looked like the field. I think it's just the texture itself. It looks like it cha it changes, like it sparkles almost. It was really strange. Like I checked to see if it was my eyes. Actually, I'm like, no, that can't be happening. And I went to a different field, no problem. But it's just the texture itself on this field. Like if you look at it, it's because of the winds moving it back and forth, and that's what looks like it's sparkling. I don't know why, but it was really strange. Uh, I noticed it when I was just kind of like, what's going on here? And then um, apparently it was because it looked like it, uh, the wind is blowing it back and forth, but there's nothing to be blown back and forth because it's already been harvested. So because of that, it looks like it's sparkling for whatever reason. Or that's how I'm going to describe it, at least. It's not actually sparkling, of course, but it's just the way it seems. All right, excellent. Do we need any more? I think that's it. All right, so let's... Uh, which button is it to manually net? It is end. Excellent. Let's unload the bale. There we go. Perfect. A little tiny little bale there. Let's close this guy up. Let's lift the pickup, and we'll put it back in place. Excellent. So we've been able to get 32 bales out of this without having to replace the net. Now, we will have to replace the net soon. And by the net, I mean like the net wrap that goes with this baler. Uh, we will have to replace it because I believe it's every 50 every 50 round bales I think you have to replace the net and then you can do uh, and you can continue bailing but until you replace it no dice lower the support take the PTO off excellent I can't believe I remember to do that I was just checking to see if the monitor came into the track but it doesn't so makes me sad all right let's top this truck on oh, tractor off from the swap body here excellent always got to make sure this thing is topped up all the time because it just eats through fuel like there's no tomorrow all right so let's hook up the cultivator now I'm not gonna start cultivating yet obviously because I have bales in the field but just getting prepared for it Perfect. Let's go check on this guy, and he's stuck. <sighs> uh, 
at least with of course play I know where it's going to go here it's kind of like that's the one I really don't like about it because it's like you kind of have to guess as to where it's going to go because you can't I don't know you can't um, plan it I guess is what it boils down to kind of just have to guess and say okay is this going in the right direction is it not and you just go from there all right that should be okay uh, left side is active there uh, we'll see how that goes it's kind of funny like on the one hand it's like it's nice to be able to just uh, set it on a field that's like not a square field and walk away on the other hand it's kind of annoying because you end up with hey look there's your tractor hit that's hit the fence sort of thing I could do it all myself but then I wouldn't be able to pick up this these straw bales over here so anyways uh, how are we gonna pick these up this time around we have used the uh, let's use the Unimog, just because we can. People keep telling me I should use this more often, so I'm going to go ahead and use it this time around. Uh, now I just need to find out where... I think it's behind the... Uh, I think it's behind... Yes, there it is. And of course it's... I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm going to use the Unimog is because it's quicker than the other... Uh... Really? Come on now. <sighs> That's just annoying. I don't know how it even got turned in that particular way, but it did. Fine. Let's see if we can get it re reset it. Uh, nope, nope. Mm, it should be around here somewhere. This is the annoying part because it's like, okay, let's find it out of all these. It's right don't display tractors there that should hopefully make a difference no 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 yeah that's why it's annoying to reset because this is in a bad area for that uh, I can't just push it around because that's probably what you do in real life of course but um, this is farming simulator and you can't just move things like that so Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fiddle around with it a little bit to see if we can't get it. Uh, maybe if I... No, there's no easy way to do this. I can drive right over it, apparently. Okay, what else? Well, I was going to use the Unimog to pick it up, but I guess I'll have to use the Bobcat instead. But I'll have to move the Unimog because that is right in the way. Wow. Let's just move it out of the way then. That's annoying. Oh well. Yeah, the reason why I was going to use the Unimog is because it's quicker, but as you just discovered, it um, didn't want to play nice. I suppose I could get a trailer, but it's so close. It's on a, I don't know if it's worth it or not. And it would be like one trailer low, and then have to unload the trailer as well, so. Which would take probably just as much time so it's for me given my trailer capable well, given my front loading or how much time I really want to front load that's why I'm just gonna do it this way because this is gonna be easier than using a trailer as well because then I have to load it onto the trailer and that's a siren and load it off the trailer as well but that's how it would be in real life but um, there are certain Things I choose to do, like in real realistically, other things I don't. So you probably, like, I guess, if it was this close, you probably would use like a tractor, and, as opposed to a bobcat. A bobcat would be horrendous in the field, I imagine. I've actually seen a bobcat in the field, and it bounces all over the place. More and, and the, the suspension on these things, maybe on this, not on this one, but on I know on some bobcats, it's there's like no suspension, so you every bump you run over in the field, you would feel in the bobcat which would not be fun at all so just a quick little note all right how are our cows doing for wheat straw I was gonna say wheat but it's not really wheat it's uh it says wheat windrow so it always throws me off but uh excellent good all right so we'll do a little bit of this I probably won't do the whole episode obviously because that would just be uh, probably a little painful to watch. 
Well, I don't know. Some people like front loading. I know Nor the Warrior, he loves the front loading, so. I should have invited him on this episode. <laughs> like, Nor, do you want to do some front loading for me? And he would have loved it, but. And actually, he just got fraps not too long ago, so he can record full length episodes now on his channel. So, uh, I don't know if he's done any recently. I haven't seen them yet, but uh, I know he's capable of doing full length episodes. So, maybe in the summer he will. Uh, release a few uh, full-length episodes but as of right now he has not to the best of my knowledge at least so all right let's double check to see how our dude is doing yeah this texture is really funky it's messing with my eyes right now I don't know why uh, everything else is fine but just that texture I think it's just the combination of uh, the way the straw looks or the, I guess they're stalks, really, not straw, but just the way it looks, I think, uh, it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. I have no idea why. Excellent. There we go. I wonder what the new um, physics is going to be like in the next version of this game. I wonder if they're going to improve it or not. Um, I hope they improve it. That would be really awesome if they did. I think enough people have talked about the physics of this game to hopefully for them to hear because you know, that would be nice. It's not always the case, mind you, but you like to think that the developer of the game listens to people and what they have to say about the game and how um, the physics in the game aren't necessarily as good as they could be. But uh, that's probably part of the reason why people find the game... Uh, funny to watch is because the physics are so strange. I know, I, uh, me personally at least, I uh, don't like some of the physics. And it, I think for me it really boils down to the mod itself, because some mods are perfectly fine, other mods really need a lot of work in terms of physics, but like for example, this Bobcat is a pretty good, it's a pretty solid mod, and for most physics related stuff it's fine, but if you hook it up to another mod, like let's say the conveyor belt, I know for a fact that the conveyor belt um, does not play very nice with uh, this sometimes. Not always. It's not always you know bad, but it does work. I think what I might do in the future is get a trailer that automatically picks up the bales. Not at this point in time. We don't have. We don't produce that much straw in order for me to get something like that. But maybe in the future when we do it on a larger field. Whoops. Um, like maybe if we get to, uh, if we ever do straw on field, the new field we just picked up field, not nine, but field four. Um, I would need to get a trailer at that point. And if I were to get a trailer, I would not buy a trailer. I'd have to stack it on because as much as I love stacking, yeah, so like I was saying, hopefully they change the physics of the game, uh, improve it, I should say, the physics of the game for uh, Farming Simulator 2015 um, or 16, whenever they decide to bring it out. I know they, they do have the official expansion 2, which is out now. Um, I cannot get the official expansion 2. Uh, well, I can. I could buy it, but I could. I don't think... Um, I have Farming Simulator through Steam, so I don't know how that would work in this scenario. Uh, what I would be able to get would be the DLCs bundle, they call it. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is that titanium pack in it, so it doesn't have a map. But it's got like the Ursus mod, uh, Marshall mod. It's got the Lindner pack, or Lindner, Lindner pack as well. So it's got a few of them, but just not the titanium uh, edition of the game. So it doesn't have Westbridge Hills and the Case Combines and the Case... The other two tractors, but if you've noticed, I ba I don't have the titanium edition, but I have everything pretty much from the titanium edition. I don't have Westbridge Hills, but I can get an edition of Westbridge Hills and play on it easily enough. Should I choose to, um, obviously I haven't. So everyone in their everyone in their brother has played on Westbridge Hills and done let's play on that, so I've chosen not to do that. Very similarly to the reason why I have not done a Let's Play on Spring Hill Farms, because everyone plays in Spring Hill Farms. Uh, it's a great map, don't get me wrong. I just um, go watch somebody else if you want to watch Spring Hill Farms, I guess is what it boils down to. 
because I won't play on it. I won't record and play on it, let's say that. I might play on it personally and not record it, but uh, when it comes to recording, I probably won't play on it, just because someone else has played on it already. So Most of those things you probably will have or have already seen. All right, let's get this stacked in here nicely. Well, that's one way of uh, adjusting your bales. All right, let's turn this off and let's go check on this guy who has stopped again. I, I'm gonna have to do this myself. It looks like. Well, as much as as good as um, as good as is a, it uh, auto tractor is, it's not uh, no replacement for a person apparently, uh, and no replacement replacement for course play in my opinion at least. Well, I guess it is for fields like this, but as you can see, it might have just been the particular way I put it on, because I put it on going up and down the field as opposed to go around the field, but the fact that I have to do that, and I don't know. It didn't work. Let's just say that. It didn't work the way I wanted it to, but it does a pretty good job most of the time, so. It might be, might be the implement itself. Had I chosen a different implement, like for example, if I use the uh, the seed seed drill, the three point uh, I don't know what it's called the horse seed drill. That's a no till. It might have been fine because it just picks it up and drops it down. But this one's a a toe behind, so it doesn't always have the same sort of maneuverability as the other one does. But the other one does cultivate at the same time. So choose your battle, I suppose. Uh, let's go right. <clears throat> now I suppose I wouldn't necessarily go in circles in this map. Actually, you know what I could do? I could do it... Uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't need to go in circles here because it's pretty much a square. And technically, I think Auto Tractor would work in this scenario, but at this point, I might as well just do it myself because as you can see, Auto Tractor has not functioned at 100% efficiency. Let's cut this field in half here. It's funny, I uh, I played uh, Farming Simulator a while back with a few people, and uh, we were harvesting some corn, and the way they were harvesting the corn, they actually cut the field in the middle, in the middle and uh, made it really easy to bring a grain buggy out and unload the combine. It's pretty cool, actually. It makes sense. I don't, obviously don't do that all the time because I use course play and course play doesn't do that. It just does it in one clean fell swoop, so to speak. Doesn't do break it into chunks, but it makes perfect sense to break it into chunks. So, anyways, it's a gorgeous day outside today. I should be outside, but uh, I need to record some videos. So, I'm going out later later on tonight. So, I'll uh, enjoy the outdoors then, I suppose. But it's still spring, so. I guess it's still cool outside, but it's pretty warm. I think it's like a, it's above zero, which is warm right now at least. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining a lot about uh, the weather. It's funny, you look on Twitter, well, lately I've been checking out Twitter to see what people have said about the weather, and uh, I think like 90% of the tweets I see are all about the weather and how, oh, the weather's not good, it should be, you know, sunny and warm and not freezing rain or not cold essentially. And then I suppose it'll be the same thing once it's nice and warm. It'll be, this is too hot weather and blah, blah, blah. You can't please anybody, I guess. That's usually the way it goes, unfortunately. All right. I think if I were to hire a worker, it might have been a bit more efficient, uh, efficient only because I know which way it would go. It goes up and down the field, basically, so... And I probably could have. I think you can turn off Auto Tractor. It's funny, for some things with Auto Tractor, like the cultivating, it works perfectly with Auto Tractor, it seems like. But the seeding is always a bit, uh, it's always a bit funny. It always uh, doesn't do exactly what I want it to do. It'll get some of the field done, but not all of it, so. It's always a constant battle back and forth. The same thing with course play, I suppose. I'm just used to course play, I guess, more, so that's why, that's why it doesn't bother me nearly as much. 
I think that's the reason why, at least. That's my guess. Alright. Nice. Almost done this field. Last little bits here. Probably shouldn't be driving over the, the field I've already seeded, but that's the only way it's going to get done. I guess it is coming up to uh, seeding time now for a lot of farmers, at least in Ontario. I don't know what it's like in other states or provinces, but at least Ontario. Southern Ontario will probably be coming up um, middle of m late April, so like last week of April or middle of May sometimes. As I mentioned in one of the previous episodes, I was talking to some farmers and they were saying probably late, late April or um, first, second week of May, something like that. Which is a big difference in comparison to a couple, I think it was last year or the year before that, uh, where they, people were able to plant like super early. But the problem they ran into there was the fact that uh, they got tons and tons and tons of water. So the farmers that were able to plant their fields early got water, they got, the crops just got bogged down with water. So it really depends on what they are planting. So if they planted like canola or wheat, probably wasn't very good. But maybe if they had planted soybeans, uh, the soybeans probably would have been okay with uh, the wet weather. It really depends on the crop. Some crops can handle uh, variations in weather a lot. Other crops need to have exactly the right weather. Like canola is a bit finicky. Like if it's too wet, it won't grow very well. If it um, if it's too well too dry is not so much the problem. It's usually if it's too wet is what you'll get the problem with canola. Uh, but soybeans are pretty robust actually. It seems like they can handle um, quite a few ranges of weather. I've, as I've been, at least I've been told. I've seen it. I've seen how they've done well every single year at my in-laws' farm. At least um, they grow. Uh, soybeans every year basically so and they do pretty good with them so oh there is that spot there too I wasn't sure if that was just the way the screen looked but apparently no it's a spot I missed so yeah so they do uh, they plant soybeans every year basically and they've uh, yeah it's been pretty good actually pretty good for them in their area specifically it's not like that for everybody everyone's got a different experience when it comes to stuff like uh, planting a crop and whatnot and it always depends on where you are some some places it's perfectly fine other places you run into lots of problems so it all comes down to location 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 especially in farming actually well I guess you could say it comes down to soil soil and soil so this is where I'm talking about where it's a little difficult to get this guy through technically I just ran through the fence there and I shouldn't have been able to bring this through but uh of course I did there so if you look carefully let me just show you what I'm talking about so you look so I'm gonna drive that post at the end you can drive through it so see so this cedar is just a little bit too large for these gates in real life obviously I just drove through it so you can do it in the game but um, in real life not so good all right excellent that is that done. Got the big field seeded. So I guess the next episode will be... Uh... Oh, we actually need to fertilize that field too. Oof, forgot about that. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to put this in the back here. We got, what, three more bales to pick up? I should probably pick those bales up. I'm so happy I decreased the speed of the, re the reversing speed in this tractor. I'm so terrible at reversing with this tractor when it's going when it moves quickly. That should be good enough. Um, let's grab this guy right here. And let's just turn him off for the time being. Let's hop in the bobcat. That's not the bobcat Ian, this is the bobcat. And we'll pick up those last three bales and then we'll probably we'll fertilize this field over here. Might as well. It needs to be fertilized one way or another, but. So now, let's just double check. What do we got here? Da, 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 da. Planted, planted, planted. This needs to be planted here. Excellent. Good. So let's pick up these three bales, and I think what we'll do is we'll fertilize this episode. Because it takes no time at all to fertilize on this these particular fields, because they're so small. Um, and then, I think we'll call them an episode. Ta -da. Nice. 
Yeah, the other thing about bobcats are skid steers and whatnot. When you put them in the field, they just tear up your field too. So if you're not careful, you can make like huge, take huge chunks out of your field, um, which is not good, of course. Actually, when I was, um, I'll tell you a funny story. When I was uh, tedding uh, my in-laws, one of my in-laws' fields last uh, last summer, or summer before that, I can't remember. I was tedding the field. And I was driving there, uh, what was it, four, oh, I can't remember what it is. Not the 4020, fourth, not the fourth, maybe it was a 4020. Okay, let's just say it was a 4020, the John Deere 4020 they have with a, ca uh, with a uh, closed cab. I was driving that and uh, I was tedding with a uh, hay bob, I guess you might call it or something. It's like a single row tether, sort of boils down to. Anyway, so I was doing that, and um, in that particular field, they had tile drainage. Uh, I didn't know that at the time, but they have tile drainage in that field. So I was driving along, and I hit, and I, I don't know what happened. I, I hit this enormous bump, and I just like, the whole tractor shook, and uh, the tether, I thought, fell off almost. Um, it didn't, obviously, but I thought it almost fell off. Anyways, what happened was I ended up hitting a place where the, uh, what happened was, but when you have tile drainage in a field sometimes you'll have like a little sinkhole essentially they're not big they're like right where the tile drainage collapses sometimes it'll be like a hole in the field or like a big dip it'll be like a, a giant gopher dug a hole in the middle of the field or wherever the tile drainage is uh, so it looks like a huge hole not a big hole but it's big enough for a tractor tire to run into and then run out of but not necessarily do Depending on what you're doing, it could cause a lot of damage, but luck I was very lucky and didn't cause any damage, so I actually hit an enormous hole. The whole tractor shook. I was so freaked out because it's not my not my uh, my equipment, and I was like, I don't know what I hit. They warned me about the hole, so I was I was looking out for them, but this particular hole was like right, I was like right in the middle of the windrow where I was tending the hay, so I couldn't see it whatsoever, and I it hit it. It felt really hard, but. It wasn't that hard in the end, but uh, luckily nothing broke, and I was very happy about that. Uh, let's do this first. I was very happy about that, but it scared the scared me quite a bit because uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought I had broken the tractor. I didn't. I told my uh, father-in-law about it, and he was kind of like, "Nope, you're lucky you didn't break anything." Because usually, what will happen in those scenarios, you'll uh, bend a. Uh, then part of the uh, tether is what apparently happens in that scenario because they've had that happen to them once or twice so I could probably drive a bit faster with this I don't know I asked them this a while ago and someone told me the answer and I think they said under 10 miles an hour so I'm pretty sure 12 clicks is under 10 miles an hour so I think we're safe uh, this is a I don't know I really like this particular the Abbey the manure handling pack. Uh, even the solid manure spreader is really nice. I just don't like how it's a side discharge as opposed to a rear discharge, but just the way they decided to make it. But it is a really nice uh, solid manure spreader, even though I don't use it very often. It's mainly because it's uh, side discharge. I suppose I could use it on this map, but I produce more than enough liquid manure to, uh, to handle the whole field, basically. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. I could theoretically sell the solid manure on this map, and there is actually technically a great demand coming up for it, I think. Yeah. In one day, five hours, but it's not worth it. Let me just tell you that much. It is not worth it. You know what I could get, actually? Hmm, that might be an idea. Um, in this pack, the Abbey, so the trailer pack, uh, the Abbey Manure Handling Pack. You can get that mod in the mod list on my website if you're interested. And it comes with what they call a... Uh, what do they call it? A nurse tanker, I guess it is. That's what they refer to it as. Uh, no, I can't get that. I don't have a tractor powerful enough for it. Never mind. But this is what I could get, which holds 13,000 liters, which could fill this guy and then some and with that what you do is you fill this guy up 
and you set it on the side of the field and then you have uh, you can drive this up to the nurse tanker and fill it up from the nurse tanker uh, which is what you're supposed to do with this pack and something like that's the manure transport side of it which is like um, driving around and picking up and dropping off to the manure I guess it would be uh, that you could do with course play easily enough because I don't need to go in straight lines I can just drive wherever I need to drive basically which might be something we could do in the future. Like right now on this map, it doesn't make a difference just because, well, on these fields I'm fertilizing, it doesn't make a difference because these fields are so close, but for field uh, four that we picked up last episode, uh, that might be an idea to look towards because it's only 17,000. And uh, I have the money actually. How much do we have anything in the sugar beets? We could sell some silage spills if we need to. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that, actually. That's something I haven't done before. Uh, you can you can easily do it, but it, I know that you can set up course play using it that, but it is a bit funny. I've tried it before on a different map, and uh, I didn't get it to work the way it was supposed to, because it's supposed to, uh, there's a little arm for that nurse tanker, and it's supposed to be able to put the arm out and uh, stuff like that, but... I never got it to work properly. I don't know why, um, but it, you're supposed to be able to do it. So I know it'll work just to pick up the liquid manure from our farm and take it to the field. Uh, but in terms of putting the arm out and filling out the tanker, I'm not so sure about that. And I think it just wastes it if you're not careful. So let's just do a little bit of an overlap here. Get this little part here, just so we don't miss any. Nice. It's so strange. I'm, this is like. It feels like I'm playing in two completely different ways because on this farm I basically do everything manually and then on the other farm I basically do everything, well, the majority of it automated with some of me doing it, it seems like. So it's kind of funny how that works out. So I actually had an idea for the next map after this one, believe it or not. I thought about it a while ago, but I never mentioned it. Um, this is what the thought was. Uh, let me just get out of the tractor here. The thought was to do a, a much, even smaller farm than this, but it would be with small, small, small tractors, like classic tractors, I guess. Kind of like what Caravera is doing, except it wouldn't be, um, well, Caravera 76 just started a classics tractor, uh, and he's doing that when he feels like it. <laughs> That's how he described it. He's like, I'll do it when I feel like it. But the idea was to do like with classic tractors, but only steam tractors is the idea. Um, so like for example, I think, do I have any of those? I think I do. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So I probably have to use a small farming pack for it in reality because these steam tractors aren't very powerful. Do I have any here? No, I don't. I thought I did. Maybe I did have them and I got rid of them because I wouldn't use, I would never use them. No, I don't have any here. Anyways, I thought about doing a, a, a very small map with steam tractors only. That was the idea. So now I don't have any. I do have a new, uh, where is it? Uh, I have two versions of, of Massey Ferguson 64080, which is 145 horsepower. Uh, one of them's new, one of them's not. I don't know, there's a version three. I don't know which one is version three. They look different though. This one looks like it's John Deere 24 FSU. I'm not sure. They're the same, well, same tractor, just different uh, modders, I guess. So, Anyways, let's finish up fertilizing this field. We've got like one pass left. And then we'll be good. Good to go. Actually, maybe it's more than one. We'll see. We'll see in a second here. Oh, it's so loud. It's funny, I've gotten the habit of just turning the sound off when I'm in this tractor. Which is bad because, you know, it's nice to hear the sound, but it's almost too loud. Um, unfortunately, well, for me at least. I suppose I could adjust the volume, but then uh, you probably wouldn't hear the sound at all. Like, I know on YouTube when you hear the sound, it's already pretty low as it is with this. Like, you'll hear some of the louder tractors, uh, but you won't hear everything, so. It's a bit unfortunate, but I don't want to have to strain to hear too much, so. I think it was Russell who actually uh, suggested that I do what I'm doing right now, is fertilize first, 
and then cultivate. I think it was Russell, at least. I can't remember. I get so many awesome comments from people. Uh, a lot of, it seems like a lot of people are actually farmers, which is really cool because then you get some uh, real farming insight, which I really appreciate because uh, I don't live on a farm, unfortunately. Um, I do work on a farm from time to time with my in-laws, as I've mentioned more than once, but I don't live on a farm, so I don't get uh, the everyday the everyday uh, know-how of the farm, I guess is what it boils down to. So, Alright, so let's park this right up here. This tractor seems to have really good visibility. I like it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been... It seems like that's been something I've noticed more lately is visibility in tractors. It's like, hey, this tractor's got good visibility. This tractor's got good visibility. I don't know why, but it's just something I've noticed more lately is uh, the visibility within each of the different types of tractors. So some of them are nice, some of them not so much. So, Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode there for now, folks. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come back and we will... F not fertilize. We'll cultivate this field. Um... And maybe we'll get a harvest in. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, so that's it for now, folks. My name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013 on the Glen Malure Farm. I'll catch you guys later.